Nope, that should not happen. About three days ago, my car cut cold coming off the freeway, zero power. I was able to coast into a 24 hour service station. Fortunately, get a tow truck and did the duty of helping push it into the garage. I've checked the voltage regulator in the alternator and that is fine. I've checked the OVP relay behind the battery and that is also fine. So in this video, we're going to look at the coil, distributor cap and these spark plugs. And look at this. That is disgusting. It's worn out, over gapped and dead. So I replaced it with the correct fresh ones in KG. There's the code on the side there. BP6EFS and then this happened. That shouldn't happen either. All six plug plugs should not die at once and kill the car. So I suspect the coil has gotten hot uh, and failed and I was not able to start it at the time. Fresh spark plugs have lowered the resistance and made that possible. So let's have a look at the coil as per the manual. We remove the battery terminal. You'll need an 8mm spanner. These ratcheting sockets are awesome. I love them so much. They save so much time. Remove the nuts off the post, but be careful there is a washer there that will disappear into forever never. And remove the next post with a 10 millimeter socket wrench. And again, reach down, take the nut off and be careful not to lose the washer. You can see the washer on the left post there prior to me removing the eyelets. Grab a ohmmeter or your little device there and set it on the lower setting for resistance. Put the black on the left, the red on the right, and you should see resistance that is between 0.36 and 0.4 if the coil is working correctly. 0.5 is as low as that got, and it's not even hot, so I suspect the coil is dead or damaged. There it is, six cylinder with EZL. 0.36 to 0.4 ohms of resistance and we exceed that on the test. Next we're going to have a look at the distributor cap. You need to pull the high voltage lead off first at least then get yourself an allen key. These allen keys are going to a socket are fantastic. You can't get by without them really working on any car. There are three bolts, one on the top left, one on the top right and one on the bottom right underneath. And we remove the cap and we can see a rather disgusting looking um, rotor. And then we come down to this and this is even worse. This looks like those fungal toenail photo ads they put on Facebook sometimes. It's disgusting. No wonder this car was struggling. In fact it wasn't struggling, it was driving quite fine right up into the moment it gave up. And it could not, the damaged coil, I suspect, could not overcome the resistance in the plugs and the resistance from these carbon buildups in the distributor cap. You can see the chunks of black carbon just flying off there. So it's over to Pelican Parts. The prices here are not too bad in American dollars. Add $70 for shipping. Convert that and it comes to close to $600 Australian for distributor caps and ignition rotor and the coil. So like, subscribe. I'll see you here again soon.